Hi fellow crafters, Craftily Creative Lady here. Today is all about you and your silhouette software and me to tell you all about it. Let's get crafting. Editing images. Today we're talking about editing images. So I'm going to talk about a few, a few tool points. And uh, the first one I need to talk about is the selection tool. So the selection tool you can find here to the left hand top corner of your page is a menu bar. The first one is selection tool. If you click the arrow, it says select, so selection tool. With the selection tool, you can select any image that you want to work on, like the red triangle, the yellow circle, the blue one, the green one, any image that you want to select at any point or any part of an image that you want to select, you do with the select tool. Then I'm also going to talk about the point editing mode, how to edit points and how to add points and delete points. So the last two in point editing mode I need to talk to you about is the eraser mode and the knife tool. Those are two cool functions I like a lot. Okay, let's get right into it. So here we've got a green square. The green square consists of a few points, but to see the points you need to click on the point button. And the point button is the one just down from the selection tool. If you click on there, you can see on top there, there's a point menu. You can also click off there and double click on your image. Then it gives you a menu to your right, this one, with a list of stuff I just listed for you. And then you can see this square has got one, two, three, four points. If you click on one of the points, you would be able to see the entire menu is available to you. So to edit the point, you click on the point. Then you have seven functions that you can work with, like the delete and break path and corner and all that. To add a point, you just click anywhere on your line and you add a point and another point and another point and another point. There. You have added five extra points. You can dominate those points and you can do with the points whatever you wish to do with. You can go to one point, click on the point, right click on the point and then say delete the point. Then it's gone. You can delete that one. You can delete this one. So you just right click on the point and you delete the point. Then you can move the point. You can move it in or you can move it out. Whatever you want to do with the point, it's your point. Make it happen. So if you click on the image once, you have selection mode. Selection mode shows you the dimensions of the width and height of your image. But if you double click, your image changes from selection mode to show the points or nodes that you can change. Let's have a look. Double click. Can you see? And then you can dominate those points whichever way you like. In point editing mode, the selected point will be displayed in white, while all the others are dark gray. So if, if you have a look here, that node or point are white. This one is gray, that one is gray, and that one is gray. And the selected line that goes with the selected point will be displayed in red. There's also an extra line which, with, a, with a blue node which gives you an option to change a curve. Additional lines that have blue points, this one, are handles to adjust curve lines like this. You click and drag. Can you see how the curve changes? Like this, or if you go to the other side, like this. That's how you can change a curve. With the additional blue point, which is a handle, to adjust the curve lines. Then we get to the move and adjust points. 
To move or adjust a point, you hover over the point, you click, you can see it changes to a white block or a white node, you click and drag and you will see the point moves left or right or up and down or wherever you choose it to move. You can also add points by just clicking on every line. Add a point, add a point, add another point on the curve line. Can you see on the curve line it has two extra handles to adjust, add another point and add another point. And that's how you do point editing mode. When you are in point editing mode and you want to delete the point, then you go to the point, click on the point, and click on the delete point button. And you've deleted the point. The next one is break path. You go to a point again, you click on the point, and you click on break path. Then you will see there's a gray node, a gray node, a gray node, and a round circle. This circle means this is not a closed object anymore. If you click and drag, you can see that the object is open now. So you have braked the path of this image. Now we go to the corner function. If you want to make this curve line a corner like this corner line there. You click on it and then you will see there's handles that will help you make the curved line a corner, a normal corner. You just drag it till you have a 90 degree there and you drag this one till you have a 90 degree there. That's how the corner works. Then the very next one is smooth. If you want to take the corner and you want to make it smooth again, you just click on the corner one, let's click on this corner one, and you click on smooth, and then the corner is a smooth curve again. Then as you can see, you have a curved line there. If you want to make, the next button is make flat. If you want to make this curved line a flat line, you click on the node or the point, and you click make flat, and immediately the highlighted red line is flat. Let's see again. There's the curved line. Let's click off and on again. There's the curved line. You go to the point. You click on the point. This line is highlighted. And you click on make flat. And then it's a flat line. If you want that line to be a curve again, you just click on make curve click and then you have a simplify tool if you double click on your image and you see all the points you click on simplify and simplify again and simplify again to your image and the points in the image is simplified enough for you let's let's do it simplify simplify again and again and again and again see simplified image. Now we get to the eraser tool and this is a very easy one. Um, the only thing you do is you go to the button here, click on the button and then your mouse is an eraser. Then you are able to erase anything or any part of an image. You just left click, hold it down and move your mouse like this. and you erase anything you want to erase like this the next one is the knife tool this is also an easy one this is to separate your image in into two parts let's have a look you go to the knife tool right here you click on it you click and drag again click and drag. If you let go, 
your image is in two parts. Can you see this thin little white line? Right here. That's the knife. That's the cut that the knife did through your image. Now if you move the, the bottom part, you can see you can move anything on the other side of the of the cut line and your image is in two parts that's the knife tool and this is all i have to say about editing images thank you for watching my video till next time goodbye